Hey dear, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So in the previous lesson, we have illustrated this illustration in flat style design and in this lesson, let's animate it. So for that, let's jump on to Adobe After Effects. So in this lesson, first of all, we are going to animate the car and then we are going to add animation to the background as well. Secondly, we are going to animate the character. For the character animation, we have used the rubber hose to plug in and for rigging the face of the character, we have used Dwig Bezier. And thirdly, we are going to add some follow through to the different body parts of the character animation and our final animation will be ready. Okay, so let's jump on to the lesson. Okay, so right now we are inside of After Effects and first of all, let's start with the animation of the car. So for that, let's turn off the character layers for now. Okay, so right now, first of all, I'm going to add the animation in this tire detailing. So if we move these vertically, it will look like the tires are rotating. So let's do that. So first of all, I'm going to add position property at these tire spots. And then I'm going to jump onto next four frames and just pull it below. So first of all, let's solo the layers and uh, let's pull it below or yeah, somewhere around here. And I'm going to even move the first key pose as well to somewhere around here so that it actually looks like it's in loop, even though it's not necessary because we are going to add some motion blur to it. So it will not be clearly visible. So first of all, I'm going to add a loop expression. Okay, so I'm going to copy this tire layer and pull it and put it above this spot and then I'm going to rename it matte because I'm going to change this layer to an alpha matte. Okay, now let's check. So I'm going to add the motion blur and let's check it out. Yeah, it's looking good, but it's too fast. So I'm going to slow it a bit. Yeah, it's perfect right now we need to reflect reverse the keyframe orders all right now just unslow the layers and yeah it's looking perfect okay so after that i'm going to animate this reflection layers so for that i'm going to change first of all select the layers and then i'm going to change the color of these layers so that we can separate it from the others okay so then I'm going to parent this the lower portion of the reflection layer which is this one with this uh, reflection on the window. So if we move one then the both should move. Okay now I'm going to jump on to next around say 12 frames and I'm going to just put it over here and at this point I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to add some easiest to it. Okay right now let's add the loop expression and then I'm going to add the alpha mat. Okay, so if we check the reflection is too deep, so I think we can simply lower the opacity a bit. So for that, I'm going to give it 50% and also I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. So now check it. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. All right, now I'm going to just move the anchor point for this one. So first of all, let's animate the car the top portion of the car. So for that, I'm going to add a null layer. So let's name it car null. Okay, let's reposition the anchor point for this one. And I'm going to put it somewhere around here. Perfect. All right. So first of all, I'm going to select everything on the top layer of the car, including the seats. I mean, I'm, I'm going to leave the tires. So parent it with this kernel so if we move the kernel the whole sh thing should move perfect okay so one more thing select all the shadows and just give it an overlay blending mode as well so and also i'm going to lower the opacity let's give it 60 percent yeah it's looking better all right now let's animate the car so i'm going to add position and rotation key keyframe at the first key pose and after that, I'm going to jump on to around, let's say uh, 10 frames. Let's check it out. If it looks slow or fast, we can change the timing later on as well. And I'm going to add the keyframes again. So at this point, I'm going to slightly rotate it over here. Not this much, around uh, one degree is all right. 
and I'm going to pull it slightly above somewhere around here and at this particular point let's give it a rotation of one degree and just pull it somewhere below okay so give it a slight uh, I mean just I'm going to decrease the rotation a bit so let's give it 0.6 and minus 0.6 yeah perfect and after that I'm going to copy the key poses and paste it over here and reverse the keyframe order and after that I'm going to simply copy the loop expression and paste it over here perfect now if we check the animation yeah it's definitely looking slow so I'm going to just speed it up a bit so let's jump on to six frames again six frames so right now I'm going to just offset this rotation a bit and now let's check it so I think that we can just adjust this position a bit let's just not move it this much and let's check the animation now yeah it's looking better and let's speed it up a bit more yeah it's looking better so after that i'm going to add some rotation to it so first of all let's adjust the or let's sync the keyframes with this particular rotation key poses and then i'm going to offset it later on so i'm going to copy this and simply paste it over here and let's give it minus two at this point give it plus two or and same with this one the minus two and after that let's just offset it to add some follow through okay now let's check the animation let's offset it a bit yeah it's looking better okay so the car animation is done right now let's add the animation to the trees so for that let's move the key for move the anchor point at the bottom so i have just added position and scale key frames and i'm going to add i'm going to jump on to next 20 frames and move it somewhere around here and also scale it down a bit okay now let's add the loop expression okay let's keep it linear keyframes for now and let's check it yeah looking pretty nice it's actually looking like it's moving in perspective even though it's just moving in a single line all right so right now i'm going to copy the trees and let's just uh, delete the reference we don't need it anymore so i'm going to copy it three times and let's just offset it so right now i'm going to just simply make it a pre-comp and copy it again and just reflect it horizontally and we will we are going to get the trees for the other side as well so let's check it out yeah it's looking perfect if we see it through this window so let's add yeah it's looking better okay so right now also i'm going to add the motion blur to it and let's check it out how it actually looks yeah it added a slight blur to it it's actually looking better so i'm going to go with this one and for the characters i'm going to simply first of all turn on the character layers so i'm going to show you guys with one character and so for that let's focus on this one and just parent it with the seat first of all so i'm going to show you guys one character and let you guys to do the another one because the technique will be same so let's start with the animation so first of all i'm going to add the scale and the rotation keyframe over here and i'm going to match the key poses with this with the rotation property of this particular card and then after that i'm going to offset it a bit to add some follow through so first of all let's move it around here and let's jump on to next six frames and i'm going to add this again so at this particular point i'm going to rotate it by let's see what it's exactly it's in minus 0.6 so i'm going to give it minus 2 or let's give it minus 4 and here i'm going to give it 4 degree of rotation and also i'm going to add some scale to it so at this particular point i'm going to add some stretch so let's give it just 
just add some plus six or let's give it three and subtract three from the x-axis and just alternate the values all right right now i'm going to copy it and just reverse the keyframes and after that i'm going to just add the loop expression let's copy the keyframes of the rotation property and just paste it in the head as well as the neck okay and also i'm going to add some animation to this hand as well so i'm going to add some rotation and position prop keyframe on the position and rotation and then jump on to six frames and then again do the same and at this particular point i'm going to move the hand somewhere around here closer to the head and rotate it a bit and after that at this particular point i'm going to move it away from the body a bit and rotate it in the opposite direction all right so i'm going to adjust the motion path a bit and after that i'm going to copy it again and just reverse the keyframes all right so i'm going to easy use it and let's copy the loop expression paste it over here okay and after that the only thing that's left is to add some animation to the face so let's turn on the face composition and i'm going to add keyframe on the position of this particular slider so if you don't know how to rig the face again i'm mentioning it's uh, the link in the description you can check it out i have just explained you in full details how to rig the face of a character using twig bezel or you can even just click on the i button you will get the link okay so and same with this one i'm going to add position at this particular slider this is for the changing the shape of the mouth and this is for changing the position of the mouth so at this particular point i'm going to move it somewhere around here and also let just open the mouth and then i'm going to jump on to the next six frames so first uh, then i'm going to jump on to next three frames and just not this one let's delete the keyframe uh i'm going to move this face key pose so it would actually look like it's just moving his face something like this in an arc so i'm going to copy the keyframes and again reverse the order okay so we are done over here and then we are going to add the loop expression to it okay and right now let's just offset the keyframes and our animation will be done okay let's check our animation so it's uh, i mean it's too fast i we need to slow it down so let's do that select all the key poses i'm going to increase the spacing by around 20 frames okay so it's done so try it on your own and also in the similar process i have just animated the second character as well so try it on your own and let me know how it turned out so that is it for this lesson hope you liked the video and learned a lot from it if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye